Well, hello, my name is Paul Yoder, field agronomist for Pioneer. In today's video, I wanna to talk to you about biologicals. I know for me as an agronomist, it seems like these last couple of years, that's been kind of the buzzword. A lot of growers are asking about biologicals. And a matter of fact, it seems that the market's getting flooded with them. So within this video, I'm going to answer a few questions. Some of the questions that I get asked. Do I believe in them? Number one, number two, if I do, what, what products do I recommend? And three, where do I look to find the best biological? So, do I believe in them? Addressing that first question, yes, I do. And it really depends on the biological that you're using. And here's, here's some reasons why. So as a grower, these are some things that you want to look for. But first, before I get into, into that, before you spend any time investing your time and your investment into a biological, make sure that your fields are in check when it comes to your pH, your N, P, and K. Because if your pH and your N, P, and K are not in check, then you truly are wasting your money when it comes to this kind of stuff. If they're in check, then these are some of the things that you're going to ask and look for. What is actually in that product? So every box, every container should have what the active ingredients are. If they seem kind of vague or they just don't seem right, then I would really question that product and I probably wouldn't invest. I'd also look to see, is it EPA approved? The packaging should show that it is EPA approved. That's a step in the right direction. Some other things to look for, is it USDA approved? These can be easily found in the packaging or the boxing of the products. Those are some main things that you're gonna to wanna to look for. Here at Pioneer, we've been asked ourselves, obviously as a company throughout the United States, what do we do with biologicals? And so we're testing it this year. Matter of fact, this past fall, we just purchased Stoller, which I've been working with for probably the last 10 or 12 years. And to be quite honest with you, I feel like Stoller and their biologicals, they're the Cadillac. They're the best on the market in my opinion, but I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is and the fact that I've got quite a few trials. Matter of fact, Pioneer's got quite a few trials that we're looking at for both corn and beans. This year, in my team, I'm looking at Utricia N, I'm looking at Utricia P in fields, I'm looking at Stoller products, which is a complete program from planting to fungicide timing, and I'm combining the two in some fields, both corn and beans, and I should have some pretty good results. The other thing that I'm doing within my district, and it's something that you can do at home, is I'm soiling my undies. Yes, you heard me right, I'm soiling my undies. So you may be asking, what does that mean? So. You can do this, just go buy some cotton. They have to be cotton and they have to be white. And you take them out to your fields, bury them, come back in two months, which I'll be doing. And I'll see how much of this underwear is left. If there's not much left, but just the band, then that means that the, your soil health is fantastic. If there's a lot of this underwear is left and you could basically get some Tide detergent and wash them and wear them again, then your soil health is probably not the best. So the reason I'm doing that and part of the reason why the testing that I'm doing this year, they have to be tied into our digital system. That's a must. So, so I can analyze the day at the end of the year to determine what products, what mixtures were the best. I'm also going to bury these underwear in certain spots of the field. I'm looking from previous harvest. Are there spots in the field that maybe it wasn't so good from a yield standpoint? And then I'm gonna go in kind of the primo areas that always raise a good crop. And I'm gonna see what the soil health is in those areas as well as doing the analysis at the end of the year to see did the biologicals from Stoller and or Utricia, did it help and did it make a difference into those yield levels in those environments? If you have questions on this, if you'd like to know more about it, please don't hesitate to reach to reach out to any of us here at Pioneer, uh, your Pioneer seed, seed agent, and we'll be more than happy to set up some time to talk with you about the things we're doing here at Pioneer to bring you more money at the end of the day. Please stay safe. Thank you for watching this video and take care. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.